It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I just wanted to take a minute to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Peak Life. They make incredible supplements, teas, um, matchas, all sorts of like um, health and beauty and wellness sort of supplements, which you guys know I love. I'm in my little supplement drawer, which is where I keep my probiotics, um, any uh, prenatal vitamins I'm taking and everything, and also my Peak Daily Radiance. Um, so I've started to incorporate this into my routine, and these are really cool. They're like vitamin C shots there for, um, just to help with, with immune support, obviously, um, and radiant skin um you know collagen production kind of slows down in your 20s so i'm 30 so lord knows we need it i don't put collagen anywhere else in my routine so i really like this they're basically these little packets um and they're elderberry flavored and they're kind of like a little like goo almost and i like to just take them literally by themselves like they're really tasty and right now since i'm pregnant they're so tart and they like taste amazing especially if i'm like craving something a little sweet I'll come grab this and just kind of like you know sometimes when like your vitamins are sweet when you want like a little sweet something in the afternoon it's kind of the perfect time to take that so that's what I'll do one thing that I've been super just weary of this winter and especially now that my immune system is probably a little bit more vulnerable is making sure that my vitamin C content is up um, and that my immune immune system is as protected as possible so I'm so happy that I found these because they really like make sure that I'm well protected as much as I can be at least and also give me a little bit of a glow in my skin um, and really help with like collagen production right now which makes me feel extra pretty and like you definitely notice a difference like a little glow in your skin after taking them for I've been doing it for probably like a week and a half now and I love that they're just in these little packets. You can throw them in your bag. Perfect for travel. No refined sugars or preservatives or anything. They taste so good. And it's just like another step to add into your skincare routine technically. And I like that it's like killing two birds with one stone. We're getting like immunity support. And also like working on my skin radiance and just like helping the overall glow and everything. So I love them. They taste so good. You could also like mix them into hot water if you wanted or your tea they're just like you could honestly put this on pancakes it tastes kind of like a like a tart syrup it's so good mm. this would be so good on like frozen yogurt or like ice cream yogurt ooh, in a parfait i should do it in a parfait i haven't done that yet why haven't i mm. what it's so good each packet has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C and just like such a little easy wellness beauty supplement added into your routine that's not another pill just so nice it's just a different format tastes good it's not like annoying um, and you'll definitely notice the difference so I will put the information in the description box down below they make a lot of really beautiful products if you guys want to check them out I know people are obsessed with like their matcha they have really good tea drinks and everything but I love these sort of like beauty wellness supplements i think it's so cool and um it's been so fun to add into my routine hello okay so tonight we're telling our first group telling of friends our best friends that we're pregnant we're having a baby and it's also my birthday so it's at my birthday dinner and i was like i don't think i can wait any longer i'm currently nine weeks nine and weeks i know it's pretty early to tell people which we wanted to wait till 12 but i just can't like i'm so close with them i can't hide we're it we're with our friends longer. so much yeah. and so often and usually at places like having a cocktail or something we've been trying to play it off for as long as we yeah. can and it's it's pretty hard it's getting hard to hide so yeah. especially because i've been super sick and tired i just I gotta let the cat out of the bag. So, um, we're gonna tell them tonight, probably during like a birthday cheers. Yeah. 
Hunter, um, should we do a cheers and we're gonna yeah, we'll do a cheers because it, it'll be record. about her birthday so i feel like they'll be caught off guard a little bit yeah yeah i'm kind of nervous i know nervous to tell people i just like it'll be nice when it's just out and we can just talk about it we're enjoying the time though like i mean i know you've been like tired and sick but yeah. like just us knowing just us knowing and like the excitement has been building over time like totally we can't wait to have a little baby i know it's gonna be fun Maybe. fun new chapter yes it will be um okay but anyways so this is kicking off the series of telling everybody mm -hmm. friends yeah family yeah we haven't told i've only told one sister you told nicolette and that's it because she lives in Europe, and I was like, I know she won't tell anyone, and I need someone to confide in. Yeah. Um, and but we haven't told any of our to parents. to tell you happy birthday today. Yeah. And you're just like, all right, let's just let her know. Yeah. Because we won't see them before we're telling everyone else. No, so, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go see my family next week in Texas and mm -hmm. tell them, but it's about to start the chain of events. Yeah. So. Hopefully it's not super loud in there. It actually looks kind of lively, so it might be a little loud. I know. We'll see. Okay, she's pregnant and she's hungry is the theme That's of the theme. first trimester. That's like the ongoing non-stop theme. It's a disaster, you guys, honestly. Like, the inconvenience of how often you have to eat is, it's, it's a book on top. I wake up every morning at like three in the morning because I hear some crunching. <laughs> And I wake up, it's pitch black, and I can barely see Julia. She's like sitting up in bed, munching on little uh, oyster crackers. If you've been pregnant though, you know. I mean, mm. It's like, and I'm like, oh babe, are you okay? Are you not feeling good? I've had, She's like, I'm fine, I'm just, I'm hungry. I, I, my stomach hurts. I've had so much nausea. Can you throw us to that? Um, that's good. That food is really the only thing that helps it um because if i don't eat like pretty much every two hours on the dot like our delivery was late the other night our, our by food delivery our food delivery by 15 minutes and clockwork i was in the bathroom puking and i'm like where's the food <laughs> i was like you could just feel it coming and i threw up because i hadn't eaten but that's been the most surprising part is just like how often you have to eat and how hungry you are um so it's a lot of like more like little meals it's not i don't know if you're necessarily eating more than you normally would but it's just eating more often like little nibbles and snacks here and there which i'm not used to i'm normally just like a three meal girl i didn't realize you know pregnant women ate because of nausea i didn't like, either i thought it was just like oh you're eating and you're getting weight because you have a baby building inside of you and, right but maybe that's what it is maybe you're nauseous because it's like you need food yeah. To grow a baby. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? I don't mm. know. I, I, I don't know. And I pretty much want to eat everything like a little kid. Like grilled cheese, <laughs> french fries, <laughs> chicken strips, chips, um, plain stuff. Nothing of nutritional value. This is actually the first salad I've had probably this entire trimester. Well, I did have a kale salad, but it's like I have to make sure i get a salad on a good day when i'm like feeling you up for it stomach it yeah because like i'm not eating anything with nutritional value it's really bad but but i want to like i really would want to be healthy during the pregnancy but it's 
Nothing which has been hard good. because they've been so sick. Yeah. Mm. So, we're having Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is like the best pregnancy food. Oh my gosh. Everything is just delicious from there. Soup, fries, mm. and nuggets. Which makes sense. So the soup is good. The oh, soup's so good. So yeah, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's 120. Mm. It's funny. My parents, my family was in town recently. You were kind of sick and you're sleeping a lot. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to tell them yet. And so I wonder if they just thought I was tired. Probably. <laughs> it's funny because I was having to step it up when they were here, and like, I was like doing everything. They're probably like, "There's Julie doing nothing wrong here." No. <laughs> Because Joy be sleeping and I'd be making everyone breakfast or... Doing the dishes, uh -huh. Hunter was doing laundry. I've been pretty much like worthless. It's easy stuff, it's just time consuming. Amongst I know. everything else. Totally. But and it's just, you realize how nice it is to have two people, people totally. in a household like sharing the tasks. Yeah. Um, yeah you realize that you know I kind of do a lot. I mean, you do a lot too in different, like I'm in sure if I had to areas. pick up your That's tasks, what, I'd be I like, I feel oh. like I've been overwhelmed because I'm You're doing, doing both. the jobs, I know. plus like my house stuff and I all know. the stuff that has been taking place for our move, mm -hmm. our moves, our house purchases, our house sales. So bam, bam, bam. It's like a chain of events and I've been having to like get everything in line for that. I've been doing tax, tax work, mm -hmm. editing vlogs per usual, plus like getting the house ready, like all the repair requests from the inspection. And then, no, a lot of Julia's stuff. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm no. just saying like- It's it, been a lot. It's the addition of your work on top. I'm making time for it. I know. But Hunter's been very sweet and very helpful. Rubbing my back, getting me water. She'll be like, can you um, rub my back? And I'll start rubbing it. She's like, it's too hard. <laughs> and then I, I like saw her. She's like, I can't feel it. And it's like nothing's good. You read my book to me last night. I read her book to her. I'm not like really liking watching TV. That's kind of a bummer because you're really tired. But that's like the TV screens Screen. like make mm -hmm. me sick. Like I don't want to watch shows like nor movement. things I normally like. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. movement maybe. So reading's really nice. Like it must be the motion. That must mm -hmm. be what it is. Mm. From the not like the nausea. Yeah. With motion. Yeah. But I'm hoping that usually I hit a wall. My sickness has been reversed. So I get my morning sickness or my nausea starts mid afternoon and it goes through the evening. So at first I had it kind of in the mornings um, and then it swapped like week eight and now I get it at night. So it starts at like, yeah, 3.34, I go down for a nap and then um, I'm sick like all night pretty much and it sucks. <clears throat> And there's really nothing you can do. She's so, sick every every evening. Every night. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to make it to week 12. Because I'm like, if I can make it through that, everyone says that's like... Zero. I will say I've noticed the days you've been doing at 45, mm -hmm. you're not usually as sick. Mm -hmm. Like getting some movement in or something. I can't track any patterns yet. I don't know. But... Like yesterday you were pretty sick and we didn't... Didn't work out. Go to the gym yesterday. Yeah, well, I, I should actually start to pick up on that because that would be helpful let's make a log i know so I, anything can do to avoid it i kind of just have to keep moving once you like go down for the count then you're just kind of like Ugh. it's weird being the partner man in the situation of being pregnant mm -hmm. because i don't know your pain or i don't know your how you're truly feeling physically yeah and there's nothing i can really do except just like help out around the house just comfort you know, what, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I can comfort you, but a lot of times you're like, I can't be close right now. I know. I know. You know what I mean? I know. So it's a weird dynamic and it's not a complaint. It's just something you don't think about. Mm -hmm. It's like definitely a different dynamic. I know. And it's hard seeing you sick too. Mm -hmm. Like I hate seeing that. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Okay, cool. All right, I need to finish eating. That's our update for today. We're going to vlog throughout the first trimester. Yeah. I guess, we'll have, I I guess we'll have birth while we're living at the cabin. We'll have birth? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like we will, baby mm -hmm. will be delivered mm -hmm. during the cabin stage of our life. Mm -hmm. Which will be cozy. Yeah, it'll be really cozy. 
I guess we should only take one bed there. I know. Like our bed and plus one guest bed. Because yeah. the other bedroom will be a nursery. The nursery. Yep. Weird. And like, we'll move in. And like, five months later, I still can't move in. <laughs> baby's here. It's really weird. We're telling my parents in like, three days. Mm hmm I don't know why I get nervous every time we have to tell someone. Mm -hmm. When we told our friends the other night, mm -hmm. as I told them, I had a drink in my hand and I looked at my hand and it was like, like shaking. Yeah. I know. It's, it's definitely like that. Mm -hmm. It's just funny. We're, I can't believe that. So. Me neither. Me neither. I'm happy. But now that we've told a couple people, I'm just ready to tell people. Mm-hmm. I know. Like, we'll be at the gym and there'll be a trainer in there and we're like, oh, right now. Mm. <laughs> I've never seen her eat more of uh, the egg bites from Starbucks until oh she got pregnant. She gets them every single day. I every have day. To, they're like my lifeline. Every day she gets the bacon and Gruyere egg bite. Lifesaver. It's like one of the only things I really like. You don't miss. I don't miss. Because it settles my stomach right away after the gym and it's satisfying it tastes good it doesn't make me sick we should make our, our own version of the egg white bites i know or i the egg looked up the recipe nice mm -hmm. something like it'll probably be a little healthier mm -hmm. like better for you yeah better ingredients mm -hmm. it's just turning to a mukbang all right that's basically what the whole first trimester is <laughs> pretty much <laughs> it's a three-month mukbang it's a three-month mukbang <laughs> mm-hmm Totally. These are having a game changer, lifesaver. I got sick of them after week one though. Yeah, because they're kind of buttery. Mm -hmm. They're too rich to and eat then too often. She moved on to the oyster crackers. Mm -hmm. People say like saltines are the best. But I've noticed that's not stuff we normally eat. No. But every day you like whip them out in the car or something, and I I'm like, to. oh, I'll have some of those. I know. Excuse you. This is so rude. I don't like that. Can you get down? Can you please get down? Please? Can you get down? Thank you. I'm talking very soon. Alright, that's it. Okay. Update. are too sweet. Cheerios are not sweet enough. So. try we, we don't know if they'll both be together so we need to tell them at the same time every time we've tried calling them they're they're they never together they haven't been together but it's getting like I'm almost 12 weeks over here and we're like we want to tell you you want to be in the FaceTime okay you want to tell them about your baby sibling okay, here we go oh wait what are you doing hi hi mom where oh you guys are where y'all going Oh, fun. I figured I'd probably get you guys right now because you're probably going to dinner. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Um, we're watching the LSU Alabama game. Oh, nice. Are you not watching the World Series? We're going back and forth. It's... Oh, okay. We've been watching. Are you guys yeah. following all the games? The last yeah. few nights of your house, uh, in that house. 
I know. I know. I know. No, we, tried, we tried FaceTiming y'all last night. We were at the new cabin. Yeah. Yeah, we tried to call you right call you back, but you didn't answer. I think we were, I was already in bed. Oh. I, I did this in front of my mantle. Oh, cute. That oh, that looks, looks good. good. I, I played around with it and I thought, oh, this is, I'll just put some lights on it and it's a shitty mantle, so <laughs> I gotta get more lights on it. I think it looks um, great. But I'm pretty happy with that. Dove gray. Oh, that's pretty. So looks I, comfortable. It's it's okay. It's better. Yeah, it's, I mean. It looks cozy. It now. looks really good. Totally. I think um, it looks really good. And then, um, and then this is what I got today. You, you inspired me with your big... Oh, oh nice. pretty! That looks great. Yeah, so I got all earth tones. I'm gonna go earth tones. And I'm gonna change all my pillows out. Okay, so you're moving away from your blues. Well, just for now, I still love blue. Yeah. And, um, I'm gonna go um, earth tony just for for the winter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, all the stuff I want is from Jenny Kate. Actually, some of the um, pillowcases that you sourced on Etsy. Do you use it from different people or was it all the same lady? Yeah, I just usually go to a shop. They'll say they'll sort by colors. Like, it's pretty easy. Okay. Um, but I can send you some of the shops that I did. But, well, you know. Because some of the ones you bought were kind of like in this tone, like, you know, like. Mauve, like. Mauve yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay, and then my, my other purchase were, well, you saw my stool. So I got these little sheepskin, like, little things. Cats. Oh, cute. Oh, I love those. Yeah, and. And just for comfort and to be cozy. Yeah, totally. And, um, I got it from a company from England. I've never seen any like anything like this ever before. Yeah. Some, some catalog came to me. I'm like, oh my god. Those are my purchases for today. Those are good. Have you been, have you been playing any more golf? I played this morning. It was it was cold and rainy. I was playing in the rain today. I, I played decent. I played uh, nine holes and shot like a 42. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Have you just wanted to pause today's video really quickly to give the giveaway details. Um, so the prize for today is going to be $500 cash, Venmo directly, and... Yeah, all you have to do is like this video. You need to be following us both on Instagram. Go like and comment on both of our reels from tonight. We both put up reels on Instagram. Go like and leave a comment, and that is all you have to do those four things. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, we, we wanted to show y'all what we got for one of our uh, bedroom closets. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Okay. date was the same night that we got robbed in St. Tropez. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it was like it was like funny? we got we got something taken but something given, you know. Yeah. Oh, God. I know. It's so I know we're like okay, that was the one good thing that came out of that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm still upset about that situation. Um yeah. I know, I know. But mom, I've been so sick. Were you sick? First trimester? <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. I can do a little, but just a couple sips, and then, you know, I... I didn't drink coffee. I didn't like pizza. Oh, yeah. All my favorite things, I didn't like any. How many, how are you, four weeks? Three weeks? I'm um, 11 weeks. Coming up on 11 weeks. Jesus. I know, You're I know. your first trimester almost. Well, almost. Yeah, I know. Well, I, we didn't try out till seven weeks, and then we didn't tell anyone for, like, a full month. So we were just, like, kept it to us. Like, so really, we... No. What's that? We oh, just we've, we've told, told four friends. Yeah, like four just friends. Tiana, Sam, Jack and Carly. Yeah, Jack Carly. and Carly. Carly. Because we couldn't really hide it from them because I was so sick. I'm like, I can't like go around them and be normal. We've, I was we've had all these parties and stuff with them and we're trying to disguise like Julia's drinking and stuff. But, yeah, it was too hard. But, um, yeah. 
But yeah, I didn't know that I've been like just all I can eat is like uh like scrambled eggs and just like buttered noodles. Like it's just anything oh, it's just so bad. I know. And I'm sleeping like twelve hours a night. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, holy shit. Yes, and that. We're, we're trying to pack and she's taking breaks every like four and a half minutes. I'm like, this is the worst timing to be moving, but it's fine. I mean, can you imagine how women just get pregnant all the time? It sucks. I, I know. I'm like, oh, so it's, so yeah, it kind of sucks. Also, can say, because I'm smart, I'm so tired, I have to go to work. Yeah, it's hard. Did you, did you tell Nicolette? Yeah, I told her. Because I was like, she's in Amsterdam, she's on an island, she won't be able to tell anyone, so. <laughs> yeah, um, but Nikki was really sick too, she said, so. Do what? Nikki was really sick too, with like both of hers. Luna especially, she said. Yeah. 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 It'll go away, but it'll take a while. Yeah. Uh, Her first doctor appointment's next week, and we'll probably find out the gender next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, not at all. I haven't been able to get into the doctor. I called right when I found out, and then I wasn't able to get in for like a whole month and a half. So, so how is your tummy like? Yeah. Uh, no, there's. I don't have a bump or anything. I'm just bloated. You know. Well, that's um, so great, you guys. I know. I know isn't that weird? <laughs> no, it's not weird at all. It's great. I know. It's, it's yeah, crazy it's though. Well, thank you. Great fish. Congratulations. Yeah. It's great. Thanks, yeah, we're Dad. excited. I know. You look so good, Dad. What's that? You look so good and happy. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I um, I got a, a um, a new. It's not a new shirt, but it's a um. Did you hear the news? Oh, oh sorry, G. I was I was hoping you would be there, but I'm like I don't know how to wrangle them all together. <laughs> okay, you know, Mom loves nothing more than to tell other people. Uh, I know. I'm like I'm I'm like she has to be. I was like, is Jelly there? And then oh, I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm so yeah. yeah. The day that I I uh, forgot about our call, I was like sick in bed all day, and I felt so bad. <laughs> oh. I know, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You have a good reason. Uh, wait, how are they gonna find out the gender? I don't get it. At, at the doctor. Eleven weeks pregnant. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wow. coming up on eleven weeks. I, I think I'm like I'm still in ten. They weeks said they think right we now. can find out at the 12 week appointment. I think you can you can usually find out I think you can usually find out at like 8 weeks but we were just like we're just going to wait till we go to the doctor. So Yeah. Um yeah, oh, I know. It's pretty crazy. That's so great. Thanks. I, I, I get another grandchild. I know. I know. I know and I want to know what your guys' intuitive guess uh is off it's a boy or a girl. Oh, 100% it's a boy. You yeah. think? 100%. It's not even up for discussion. Really? Yeah. You yeah. called second to Andrew, and you, you called us, and I saw Hunter there too. The shit in your grin. I was like, oh. <laughs> Hunter. And I was like, no, that would be so so brutal to say something like that. Take your thunder. Yeah. I know. I know. It's yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for not asking. Yeah. 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 Um, hey, we're so happy. So you think it's a boy? Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I have no reason why, but I just, no, that's a, it, yeah. Usually, you don't have a reason. It's just a gut feeling. Yeah, I, you know, I just feel like you know it's the males dictates, right? Yeah. yeah. I, feel, I feel like Hunter's gonna have five boys. That's just what I feel like. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I, I can see that for sure. Yeah. I mean, well, that's, that's, what, cute. that's what happened yeah. to my brother. Yeah. Yeah. So. If I had to guess right away, I would. Think Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what Dad said. He said it like immediately. It's like boy, one hundred percent. Yeah, I just have the feeling that. Well, Hunter's such a you know such a guy, guy. Yeah. I just think that the, I just see Hunter hauling around a bunch of little boys. Yeah. yeah. And it's just a gut feeling. It's just you know you can't yeah. describe right, it's all it. Gut yeah. There's no scientific base to it at all. Exactly. Well, we're really super happy for you guys. Thanks. When you find out the sex, I need to think of names. Don't do anything too freaky, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Noted. I know you are going to. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's great. great. Okay, well, All right. Yeah, I will. congrats on uh, another grandchild. Yeah. Have and fun at dinner. Point, um, you know, Julia, crackers do help. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm eating a lot of crackers. Take little bites every hour or two because you don't want to empty stomach. Because it's, if you don't eat, you're sick, and if you eat, you're sick. So you just take bites throughout the day. 
Okay, yeah, well, this is what I've been telling this one. I'm like, every, like, two hours on the dot, I'm like, I need to eat. And he's like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, I promise. <laughs> like, it's just, I'm going to throw yeah. up if I don't eat. And I have, and if it goes over two hours, I'm in the toilet throwing up. So I'm like, God, yeah. It's crazy. I know. It'll pass. I know. Yeah. But the um, eating's been, like, annoying. I'm like, I don't want to eat so that often. Do well, we you know the expected? What you don't know yet. The approximate right now is May 31st, which is Luna's birthday, I think. Wow. Yeah, wow. which is weird. So, um, yeah, but we'll see. Awesome. They'll give so me. There'll only be a year yeah. apart. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, and less than a year for Sophie's boy. Yeah. I know. I know. They'll be like the same age. Yeah. That'll be so much fun when they get of age. I yeah. know. I know. It's, it's going to be fun. cute. We're so excited. Guys. Yeah, yeah. We're, ex we're excited. All right, y'all. Have fun at dinner. Okay, I love you. Bye. 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 Okay, you guys. First doctor's appointment today. It is um, my first ultrasound. And I'm just waiting for Henry. He's getting something in the house. Um, we, I actually, right when I found out I was pregnant, I was six weeks, I think, when I found out. And um, I called the doctor right away to, like, get in. Obviously, I'm like, hey, I'm pregnant. I need to come in. And she was booked all the way till 12 weeks. So she's like, I can't even get you into 12 weeks. But she's like, I'm not worried about it. Like, you'll be fine. You just email if you have any questions. But it's all good. So I'm 12 weeks uh, as of today. I think, like, maybe just at 12 weeks. Let me check my app. I've actually been, not been checking it. Okay, what's, um, what's the size of the kiddo? I know. We need to find out. Hold on. I am 11 weeks, 5 days. So I'm, like, oh, pretty much... Time almost 12 weeks so right there but did you um, the thing yeah it's you have to get rid of that oh i'm sorry then... i didn't know you're plugged in on this feisty i see. think we're gonna do the blood test today right to find out what the gender is i would assume that'll be phones yeah um and feeling pretty good today Gender wise, I think we may be asked already, but what do y'all think it is? We're curious. Yeah, everyone put your guesses. Put your oh, guesses. the baby's a fig right now. This is a fig. fig. Little fig meat. Cute. It's very seasonally appropriate. I brought some Cheetos, so I'm gonna have a little snack. We eat some good. Crunchies. Hunter been eating all of my snacks, my pregnant snacks. It's not true. I grab like one or two of your. Every time I have a snack, you're like, oh, it looks good. I'm like, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> the eating is like, something I never expected and it's so real like it's not that you eat more but you have to eat smaller less like more often so throughout the day it's just like a lot of maintenance we're definitely eating more though like be real we're eating more because we're eating multiple times a day instead of like in the past we, our eating would, was actually really irregular we would only have smoothies and then have like a little lunch and a dinner big dinner mm -hmm. and now we're eating like a decent sized breakfast kind of snacking throughout the day having lunch I, yeah. I don't know maybe not I could be wrong I mean I'm hitting three meals with snacks in between mm -hmm. and we're not eating as healthy as we normally do because your cravings are kind of just more like basic food like yeah I've been having chicken fingers and tortillas mm -hmm. and sandwiches crackers I've been having really bad food aversion so I can only eat basically like things off the kids menu think about that like pizza chicken fingers french fries and it hasn't like, helped the which fact, sucks it hasn't helped the fact that we've been moving no so we've just been ordering out a lot we still haven't gone to the grocery store yet we've only been in our new house for three days yeah four days maybe mm -hmm. so we haven't gone to the grocery store yet we should hit that maybe today or tomorrow probably tomorrow i know but i actually have been able to stomach some salads every once in a while it just has to be like the right moment I actually would love a salad today, but the more the weeks go on, the the less like repulsed I am by things, but it's definitely still there. Um, like if I look at like food Instagrams or something, like I get like the chills just even thinking about it in my body. Um, it makes me sick. Or like meat, like a lot of like heavy meats, oh my God, ew. Nervous for the point, not nervous for the appointment, but it just makes it more real. Uh -huh. So, I don't know. I'm excited. I am too. It just is like, honestly. It's also nice to now have a doctor like looking over everything. Like we've been somewhat just kind of like, riding yeah, you're pregnant. No, totally. Like riding clueless. Um, yeah, I know. 
It not even be. clueless. It's just like it'll feel a little. There's bit not more much like... we can do right now. No. And you know, God, it's many bumps on my throat. Um, just trying to like stay not sick and yeah. like keep it together. Um, I've definitely a lot of back been... rubs at night. A lot of back rubs, some tears. Mm. Not too bad, actually. I haven't yeah. been too emotional. A lot of sex. Oh, I've got right. Every night, Joe's like, get away from me. I'm so me. tired. I like can't have sex. I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm like, bro. But it's I'm also so sorry. <laughs> once again, we've been moving, and so we're both pretty much exhausted. At the I know. End of the day. I know. I, I feel like it's definitely hard for the husbands because you guys get all the complaining. So. You get the way that I think of pregnancy. It's like I've just been in survival mode. It's just like try to like not throw up make it through the day keep yourself fed yep. and you're just basically like, get sick. Your sleep you're sick all the time and yeah you're like a sick you've been a you've been life. impressively like good you've been you've been fine i've been okay i've been maintaining my workouts so i'm happy about that all my sickness has been at night so that's yeah you're never sick in, in the way, morning convenient yeah, I'm not sick in the morning. If, oh, if you're sick in the morning, it would just, I got sick a couple of mornings and it ruined the entire day. I was sick the whole day. So I'm really thankful I've gotten my sickness at night and I've been able to have my mornings. I can still work out, uh, work, like do things. And then three or four in the afternoon, I go down for the count pretty much. Not always, I'm into like five, six, but. We did pretty good during the move. Hunter did a lot. You did more like lifting and stuff than me because you know I can't. But we're almost through. Almost done. We're just finishing the unpacking. I'm sure y'all been following along on the moving videos, so those would have been up many a months long, ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at this point, we're probably already through Vlogmas and everything. But it is it is interesting the timing of how everything worked out. Like pregnant, moving, buying properties, building, vlogmas, like everything was just kind of like a chain of events. And um, one after the other. Yeah, like vlogmas will be coming soon. We're about to start the process on the property, and we're just kind of trying to plan our future more now that we know we have a. Bye bye. A little kiddo coming. A little hey, hey, hey. It's weird. I know it is weird. I'm actually so excited that the whole the only thing that really makes me nervous about the whole process is giving birth. Other than that, I'm not nervous about having the baby. I'm not nervous about being a parent. Like I'm not feeling nervous about anything other than like the actual giving birth process. That intimidates me. Did the girl but, at F forty five have a C section? Um yeah I don't know I can't decide I know everyone says you don't want to have a c-section because the recovery is way harder but I've also heard when you have when you I think it's hard either way you push the baby out then you tear and that has to heal, heal anyway so either way you're having a wound that's open with stitches I think All right, off to okay, the appointment. Off to the appointment. Wish us luck. Okay, we're here. We are here. This place is cool. It's super cute. We got good decor. Yeah, I like that sectional. That sectional is cool. Very comfortable. And it's cool back there the way they have it set up, like all of the different positions. It's like nice and modern. Yeah, it's cool. Very nice. Nervous? A little bit. It's just the first time here, so I don't like know what to do. You shaky? No, I'm okay. I'm just, yeah, it's just like, it's just real. I don't know how to describe it other than that. But the concept that we're having a baby has kicked in, but like actually having a baby hasn't kicked in yet. Yeah. We're still like six months from it, but. It freaks me out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're home. 
And sorry, she said that we couldn't record in there, so. Well, she let me get like a small little couple clips. She said if you want to take a quick little video of the sonogram. But you guys got okay. to see the heartbeat. Yeah. And cool. that was cool. We were like, it was weird when she pulled up the ultrasound because that's the first time we've seen the baby because you, you know what's going on. You have the symptoms, but you forget that like There's the baby baby's inside. in there. And we so know the baby's only like it. that big, but when they put on the sonogram, it's the like, of a fig. it's like a whole baby and you're like, whoa. Yeah. You can and see the so, arms and the legs. It, I was, I thought we could see more than I was expecting. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm 12, right around 12 weeks, so. So it's confirmed there's a baby in there. There is, yeah, I am pregnant. I'm not just complaining mm -hmm. every day about being tired and sick. Um, yeah, but it was really cool. And I feel like seeing the, uh, seeing the actual baby made me like, it was like really sweet. Like, kind of like the feeling I get like for Booker. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not trying to compare it to a dog, but I'm no, trying but to like, express hey, the buddy. Yeah, you're like, oh, hi. Like really sweet, mm -hmm. compassionate. We're, like not, we're not talking to you. We're not talking about you. We're talking about your baby How? brother or sister. We don't know yet. Yeah. So we took. Uh, then I got blood taken, and um, we're supposed to find out the gender tomorrow. Actually. Yeah. They said we'll see. The office I go to is really modern, which I love, and they have like everything. Um, Oh, when they put the ultrasound jelly on, by the way, they have it like heated, so it's like warm. Oh, because I I'm, thought it was cold when they put it on. I was uh, watching it, I was warm. like, oh, I'm surprised you're not making any noises. Anymore. I know. I thought it was going to be cold too, and then it was like heated. I was like, oh, that was smart. Yeah. Um, and yeah, all the, um, they like, they have a whole portal, so like everything that they have, like all the medications that you can take on the portal, you can like chat with the nurses on a chat box. Um, it's like super it's modern inside yeah. the decor is really cool we should y'all the clip yeah i really like the office it's weird because i feel like the, since we've been married we've been yeah. on our own yeah and it's like we've been adulting right right and we're 31 but seeing the, like going to the doctor's appointment and seeing the sonogram and stuff it was the most like adult feeling totally. i i felt. feel like i felt like it's like while wow, we're like we're having a be, child. Not to be mom and dad. <laughs> I know. And it feels like adult. You know what I mean? It's so. I know. I keep saying, I, like, and Hunter's like, you keep saying everything's weird and that you're nervous about everything, but that is truly how I feel. Like, it just feels. I'm so excited. It just it, because it's the first time we're going through it. Like, everything's new, mm -hmm. so it feels it's weird to me. I'm like, before. and you know, I feel like it's different for you because you don't actually have the baby inside. So for it's sure. like less. You can kind of just be like, oh, it's fun and like it's mm -hmm. really cool. But it's a little bit more like impactful. I feel like when it's the woman just because your body's going through it and so you're just like whoa 100 percent. yeah well, i agree with that but just like after everything we've done traveled like bought and sold homes yeah. like moved multiple places by ourselves and just been living on our own as adults this this is feels like, like the biggest we're adults totally you know I mean? and hunter and i have been saying too like telling our friends as we've been talking about it like we feel more ready than ever like you guys know we traveled so much um the past few years and i we feel like we got literally everything out of our system i mean mm -hmm. we'll still always want to travel we love traveling We'll always love it. Um, and I actually like, have the travel bug back already. Same. But I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I don't feel like I'm giving anything up. I don't feel. We're I just, missing out on anything. No. Like, yeah. I, I'm glad that we did all that and we waited till we were really ready and we were like, okay, like, people we say are you'll ready. never be ready. And maybe they mean, like, you'll never be able to, ready to take yeah. on the responsibility. Totally. But I feel like we actually hit a point where we were <laughs> like, we are ready for a child. Like, we're excited. We can't wait. I it's think time. you at least want to wait till you're like, okay, Mentally I want this. Ready and, and excited. Yeah, and you're not like rushing yourself into yeah. it. I don't know. I think we never felt it took us a while. Like we just had focus on other things and we didn't feel the pull. And then finally we did. Mm -hmm. and we were like, okay. We also, and it still was like nerve wracking. I don't know if we said in a previous clip, but we decided on our Paris trip yeah. in May that we were going to start trying. Yeah. And we were, you were ovulating then. So we actually tried our first time in uh, Paris. After like seven drinks at the Hemingway bar. <laughs> we were at the Hemingway bar. And we were like, yeah, drinking at the bar Hemingway. We tried all the different drinks, remember? <laughs> yeah. And we were having a conversation that those, that whole couple hours, like, hey, like, I think we're ready. Like, let's do this. Yeah. Let's make it happen. And uh, oh, that's, that's when we first started trying. So it was kind of like a memorable moment when we decided, like, 
All right, let's pull the goalie. Yeah. Let's oh, I can't it. wait to go back to Paris with um, our kids. Well, when they're a little bit older, mm -hmm. that'll be such a fun trip to show them all, show them all the things. For sure. It'll be so cute. For sure. But that was in May, and then we tried every month, like casually. It wasn't like too much pressure, but we yeah. were just paying attention and like trying to. Um, we were paying attention to ovulation and stuff like that. Yeah. And tried for about four months, five months. Uh, I think we got pregnant on the fourth month. So yeah, we really May, actually only... June, July, August. It's not bad. September. It was the fifth month. Yeah. Oh, it was the fifth. I thought I counted. Four or five months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it took us longer than I think we expected. Well, you never know. I yeah. mean, I don't know, but we, I guess we thought m both my sisters, when they tried like month one and two, so I was like, oh, it's going to happen like really fast. And then, you know, three months went by and we were like, are we good? Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, let's just, we're not thinking about it. Just keep going. Okay. Um, anyway. well, we still have some unpacking to do, but um, yeah. I think that that kind of wraps up the first trimester vlog because... Yeah, it's like I'm like pretty much 12 weeks now. I hope you guys enjoyed our first ultrasound appointment. I didn't can really see much, but we're we'll, coming we'll with us. Oh, we went to Jimmy John's after. It freaking slaps, you guys. I've never had Jimmy John's. Love it. I never had it either. I got the Italian. So good. I just had a plain turkey cheese. Were you annoyed at me? I was like, this is so no, good. no. I, I was you happy. Kept about laughing it. at me. I had the idea to take you there because I knew it would like hit. It hit. Because I've had their bread before. I just never had their sandwich, and I knew like they would just be like. Simple, Simple and good. They're all oh, perfect for pregnancy. I'm like, yes. Yeah. So good. Oh yeah, and the doctor said I could drink coffee. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably try to film more of the other appointments. This first appointment, we didn't want to be like too in the doctor's face with the camera. And they also said they didn't want us filming in the ultrasound. Ultrasound or during the ultrasound. And then we're not gonna like film when the doctor's in there talking. It's just like all that much. So you know, you get it. But. Yeah. But anyways, I think they're gonna be texting or emailing some pictures. Oh, they sent them to me. But you saw a little clip of the the kiddo. The heartbeat. It's cool. You can just see like the energy. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. All right. Love you All guys. Right, love Stay you tuned too. for the next video. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.